Hi, recently on Woodworking with Wes, we did a video on repainting a golden oak door with the Saru's texturing method. We had a lot of questions. We got great response, by the way, and we want to thank you for that. It was well received and people asked a lot of questions and made a lot of comments. And so we decided we needed to make some additional videos to answer some of those questions. The most asked question that we had was whether or not that process could be done with paint and roller. Our video we showed doing with a spray gun because that's the way I apply my finishes in the paint shop. So we're going to do the finish, the Saru's finish on a golden oak door with a paintbrush and roller. Let's get started. The door that we're going to use for our sample today is a door that we purchased from a remodel site, Golden Oak Door. It was a bifold door, so we have two halves, which allows us to make a smaller color sample and, and use this other color sample for a different site. Now, the way you get started, first off, is to wire brush the face of the door. Now, we've already done that, but I just wanted to show you. This is what we did in our original video, and we're going to provide a link to that original video so you can see that all the way through and see the process that we went through to do our original video. But back to the fact that we had ceruzed our door. We had a comment that we had painted the back side of our other one, so we painted the back side of this one just so it shows that you can paint the back side of your doors with a base color. And then as you apply your base color to the front, then you get ready with your ceruzing for the remainder of the process. But let's get started with the paintbrush and roller application of the paint. The paint we're going to be using is different than the paint that I typically use. The paint that I typically use in the paint shop for all my work is a spray only uh, vinyl primer. So we went to Sherwin-Williams and we explained to them what we were going to be doing and they gave us this wall and wood primer that is a paintbrush and roller application material and this is what we'll be using. We had it tinted to a, an aquatic color, that's the name of the, of the paint color, but you can have yours tinted to any color you want. The color combination is going to be up to you. I just picked this because it's a light color and we're going to be putting on some darker glaze to highlight the contrasts. but it's a nice color and this is the one we're going to use. And let's get started by first applying a paintbrush uh, layer to our profiles and the edges of our door. Sherwin-Williams also told me that for the application of this wall and wood primer that just a nylon brush would work best and we bought a little four inch uh, sponge roller to do our roller part. So let's just go ahead and go through and get our coat of paint on. put on our first coat of paint on the face side of our door. We paint brushed the, the profiles and the edges and rolled the faces and then we went back and kind of cleaned it up and smoothed it out a little bit. I had to make sure that I got the paint that had gotten into the corners extra deep. We wanted to make sure that we got that out of there because we want that profile to be clean and crisp as much as possible. 
Now you can see that our paint didn't cover all the way. We still have some golden oak showing through. This is going to have to have two coats of primer. So we have to let this dry. We're gonna give it a sand on this first coat, sand it, smooth it up. We're going to give a second coat of primer and then we'll do a soft sand on it before we move on to our next step. Drying time, let's wait. We've painted on our second coat of primer. You've noticed that I painted everything with my second coat, only with the brush. I did that to kind of move the paint out of the crevices that I had put in with my wire brush so that I was highlighting the grain. Where the roller might have filled those in with too much paint, the brush allowed me to make sure that my grain was still highlighted as I had done with my wire brush so that the glaze will hold better. But we have a good coat, two coats of primer on here. Our golden oak is completely covered. We'll wait for it to dry and then glaze. We don't have to seal between our primer and our glaze because the primer itself is a sealer. So we'll just glaze right on top of our primer coat and we're ready to go. We're about ready to put on our final top coat, but let's review what we've done so that you can remember the steps necessary to get the finish. The first thing we did was take our golden oak door, wire brush it, bring up the grain, then we painted. Now this is the paint brush with hand and roller, or paint brush and roller system, so let's talk about that material. 
We went to our Sherwin-Williams dealer. We got a paintable uh, primer, wall and wood primer. We put that on, that was the color. We went back, we put our ML Campbell furniture glaze on. As you can see we did a gray glaze on this side and a black glaze on this side. We sanded between our primer coat and our glaze coat. And now we're getting ready to put on a polyurethane. We're just going to use a Minwax uh, spar urethane, but polyurethane of any brand name would be okay. And this is also a paintbrush application finish. So this entire system that we're showing now, you could do with a paint and roller. You could do it inside your kitchen and not have to worry about spray and overspray. So let's go ahead and get ready to do that. We're just going to go ahead. We're going to paint on the polyurethane. According to the directions, you put on one coat, you wait for it for two, dry, uh, two hours to dry, you give it a soft sand and put on another thin coat. But we're just going to put on the one coat right now to show and get started there. So let's go ahead and put on our polyurethane. We've already mixed it. We'll get on our glasses here so we can see what we're doing. It says on the directions just use a nylon brush, which we have. And we're just gonna give it a nice coat of polyurethane. Nice long strokes with the grain makes it look better. I'm not a very good paintbrush man. I like to spray, but you have to know how to put a good paintbrush finish on every once in a while too. So I've had a little experience, but I'm not a professional paintbrush guy. We can certainly make it look good though. The nice thing about this process that we have shown is it has a way or I mean it is it is the way or a way to refinish a golden oak kitchen without destroying the fact that you have a nice oak door and you can maintain the beautiful grain but change the look by changing the color now we've used like I say we've used a, a color called uh, aqueduct and a graze and a black glaze but your color combination can be any color combination you choose to make this process the process is what we're demonstrating the color choice is yours that's great let's wait for this to dry see how it comes out okay we're all done with our paint and roller application on our ceruse finish looks pretty nice we put our polyurethane finish on there looks and feels great this is a way for you to do this process DIY in your own kitchen really exciting now remember I just want to stress this very much so color choice is yours all we demonstrated was the process and to show you that it is able to be done with a paint and a roller and you can do it yourself. This is a process that we've demonstrated today. Go to your paint supplier, work with them on the colors that you desire, make some samples. This is a great project to redo your kitchen, freshen up your home. I like this color right here for maybe a laundry room. Be really good. But we'll see you next time on Woodworking with Wes.